Each February 14th, people exchange gifts and flowers with the special people in their lives to celebrate Valentine's Day as a lover's day. For 11 couples, this year's Valentine's Day will be extra special because it will also be remembered as the day they got married. One of these people is Joan Mary Nabukeda, who has exchanged vows with her Chinese husband, Jipeng Suun, in a wedding presided over by Jen Okot, the Deputy Registrar General at Uganda Registration Bureau Services in Kampala today. Nabukeda, who was previously working for Jipeng's mother, has now become a part of the family. I was working in her mother's factory. Then her mother went to China, left me running the factory for two weeks. Of course, everything was running well. She came back, she found more than 200 millions when I kept all the money well. So she felt so happy. She told me that I think you are the right girl to marry my son. Ten other couples also exchanged their vows at the registration bureau. <laughs> So by the powers entrusted unto me as Registrar of Marriages, I now declare you husband and wife. Vincent Katusi, the Director of Civil Registration at URSB, explained what conditions they expect couples to meet before tying the knot. He adds that more Ugandans have started appreciating civil marriages in contrast to the past. Free consent to, to getting married to your partner, or your partner should also freely consent to getting married to you. Okay, there are a few other administrative things we ask for to verify that you are a person eligible. For example, you could be 24 years old, yet in fact you have had three, three husbands. Okay, so we want to be sure that you're single, and in, in the true sense of the word, if you are divorced, you will have to verify that fact uh, by getting the relevant court papers. The couples are displayed on the bureau's notice boards for a period of 21 days and waited on the 22nd day. Olivia Komgisha, NTV Weekend Edition.